Do you remember the 1982 TV series Police Squad? Whether you're a fan or have only heard of it in passing, there's more to this short-lived but legendary show than meets the eye. As we delve into some lesser-known facts and anecdotes about Police Squad, you might find yourself wondering, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Police Squad was a unique and groundbreaking television series created by the minds behind Airplane. And the Naked Gun movies, Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker. The show was known for its slapstick humor and quick wit, but what sets it apart is its premature cancellation after just six episodes. The cancellation, unfortunately, deprived viewers of more hilariously absurd crime-solving antics with Detective Frank Drebin, portrayed by the incomparable Leslie Nielsen. The show's cancellation raised many questions. Were the jokes too ahead of their time? Did audiences not quite grasp its comedic brilliance? Or was it merely a victim of unfortunate scheduling? Whatever the case, Police Squad found its redemption in the later Naked Gun film series, which became a massive success. Now, here's a fascinating tidbit. Each episode of Police Squad featured a different guest star as the villain, including William Shatner, Lorne Green, and Florence Henderson, adding to the show's charm. So, as we celebrate the legacy of Police Squad, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic series. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. In the 1982 TV series Police Squad, one distinctive and amusing subtlety was the intentional misuse of Frank Drebin's rank. He would often announce himself as Lieutenant Drebin, only to be immediately introduced as Captain Drebin by others. This play on his title was a hallmark of the humor for which the Abrahams and Zucker brothers team is known. It added an element of absurdity to the character and the show contributing to its comedic appeal. Police Squad originally had Robert Stack as the first choice for Frank Drebin, but he turned it down. Leslie Nielsen became their second choice and went on to make the character iconic. In the 1990s, Leslie Nielsen reprised his role as Frank Drebin in Red Rock Draft Cider television advertisements, which were parodies of the show. These facts highlight some of the interesting aspects of Police Squad and its enduring humor. In the 1982 TV series Police Squad, a notable fact is that each episode had two titles, one spoken in the voiceover narration and another displayed on the screen. This inconsistency added to the show's humor. It's a small but quirky detail that fans of the series have appreciated over the years. The mismatch between the spoken and on-screen titles was a subtle yet amusing aspect of Police Squad that contributed to its unique charm. This article delves into the peculiar dual titles used in the series, showcasing how even the smallest details in Police Squad were carefully crafted to deliver comedic value. Whether you remember the show fondly or are discovering it for the first time, this quirky tidbit is a testament to the clever humor that defined the series. When the ABC TV network canceled the series after six episodes, their reason was quite unusual. ABC Entertainment president Tony Tomopoulos claimed it was because the viewer had to watch it in order to appreciate it. However, this reasoning was heavily criticized, with TV Guide magazine calling it the most stupid reason a network ever gave for ending a series. Interestingly, the series producers, while publicly disappointed, were privately glad that the network canceled them so soon. They believed they were running out of story material and had lost confidence in continuing for a full season. Fortunately, this setback didn't mark the end of Police Squad. The series later found new life as the theatrical film series, The Naked Gun, with its inherently less demanding production schedules. This unique turn of events in the show's history sheds light on the challenges and decisions behind the 1982 TV series Police Squad. In the world of television, the 1982 series Police Squad stands out for its unique approach to humor and its refusal to conform to typical sitcom conventions. One interesting fact about the show is ABC's desire for a laugh track, which the creators, David Zucker, Jim Abrahams, and Jerry Zucker, staunchly resisted. Their decision to keep the show laugh track free contributed to its distinctive comedic style. Police Squad was a parody of crime dramas, and it aimed to deliver humor through clever writing 
and absurd situations rather than relying on canned laughter. This choice allowed viewers to fully appreciate the show's humor without being prompted when to laugh. The absence of a laugh track was a deliberate and essential aspect of the series, emphasizing its commitment to unconventional and inventive comedy. In a television landscape where laugh tracks were the norm, Police Squad dared to be different, and its refusal to conform is just one of the many reasons why the series remains a memorable and influential classic in the world of comedy. In 1994, Leslie Nielsen made a memorable appearance on the popular British Saturday Night Entertainment show Noel's House Party. At the end of the show, Nielsen and host Noel Edmonds faked a freeze frame, replicating the iconic closing credits of each episode of the 1982 TV series Police Squad. This playful nod to the series' trademark freeze frame ending added a touch of nostalgia for fans and highlighted the enduring appeal of the show's unique humor. Beyond the breaking point, the tearful goodbye of Police Squad. S cast member from Hollywood due to overwhelming burnout. In the world of television, the 1982 series Police Squad stands out for its unique approach to humor and its refusal to conform to typical sitcom conventions. One interesting fact about the show is ABC's desire for a laugh track, which the creators, David Zucker, Jim Abrahams, and Jerry Zucker staunchly resisted. Their decision to keep the show laugh track free contributed to its distinctive comedic style. Police Squad was a parody of crime dramas, and it aimed to deliver humor through clever writing and absurd situations rather than relying on canned laughter. This choice allowed viewers to fully appreciate the show's humor without being prompted when to laugh. The absence of a laugh track was a deliberate and essential aspect of the series, emphasizing its commitment to unconventional and inventive comedy. However, the journey of Police Squad was not without its share of challenges. The demanding nature of the show, combined with high expectations, took a toll on some cast members. Burnout became a significant issue, and one cast member eventually had to say a tearful goodbye to Hollywood. The relentless pace of the industry pushed them beyond the breaking point, leading to their departure from the glitzy world of showbiz. The world of entertainment is often glitzy and glamorous, but behind the scenes, the pressures can be overwhelming. In the case of Police Squad, the toll on one cast member highlights the harsh realities of the entertainment industry. It's a reminder that even in the pursuit of laughter and entertainment, the cost on individuals can sometimes be too high. As we bid adieu to our journey through the zany world of Police Squad, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on the unique connection that this 1982 TV series has woven into the tapestry of your life. From the unforgettable slapstick humor to the iconic deadpan wit of Frank Drebin, there's a good chance that Police Squad has etched its own special place in your heart. Perhaps it was the sheer absurdity of the sight gags, the rapid-fire puns, or the recurring gags that had you in splits, leaving an indelible mark on your sense of humor. Maybe it was Leslie Nielsen's deadpan brilliance that left you marveling at his comedic timing. Or perhaps the show's irreverent take on the crime procedural genre ignited your love for satire and absurdity. Think back to the moments that had you in stitches, the scenes you could recite by heart, and the characters that you couldn't help but love, despite their hilarious ineptitude. Now, I encourage you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, or even your own personal connection with Police Squad. With us. Feel free to dive into the comments section and relive those unforgettable moments with fellow fans. After all, the beauty of a show like Police Squad lies not just in watching it but in sharing the laughter and nostalgia it brings. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are greatly appreciated. Here's to the timeless hilarity of Police Squad. That continues to bring joy to audiences, even four decades later. Stay tuned for more nostalgia and insights, and until next time, keep laughing.